Do not take product if you are hypersensitive. internet and welcome back to the intoxicated podcast if you're new to intoxicated this is a podcast that i started because i found i've always had the most interesting conversations with friends while drinking so this is a show where i have my friends on they choose an alcohol and we talk about life i gotta say This episode is one of my favorite episodes I've ever recorded, Uh, and I mean that sincerely. Now, oddly enough, this week I have two brand new friends on the podcast, super fresh friendships here. A while back, my friend Sandra, who is Jesse's wife, she's been on the show a couple times, messaged me and said, I have two friends that you need to meet. She told them about Intoxicated and said that they want to come on as guests. She sold them pretty good on me, so I actually ended up messaging one of them on Facebook. I messaged Aaron uh, on Facebook and was pretty much just like, hey, you want to be friends now? We then arranged a friend date uh, where I met up with her and Vernon. Now, this is where it gets interesting because we hit it off almost instantaneously. It's really interesting to me when you meet new people and you're sort of working towards establishing a dynamic with that person. This was a situation where the dynamic was almost already there and we just had to meet up and actually talk. These two people are so freaking hilarious, so open and honest and raw, and they are the most perfect guests to have on Intoxicated. I think we hung out in the hotel lobby bar for like a solid two hours just talking away. So I knew right away that these two people would be amazing to have on the show, and I really wanted to sort of dive into their friendship and how that all started and why it works. And it divulged into a three-hour episode. This was a doozy, but this episode right here is a perfect example of an intoxicated episode. And by that, I mean, there are many tangents. There are many different stories that are told over the course of these two episodes. It's the hardest I've laughed in a long time. So obviously we had so much fun and there was a lot of joking around, But things did get serious, too. Um, We actually got pretty deep, especially in part two, where we do talk about friendship fights. So obviously, it's a two-parter episode, three-hour recording, guys. So I had to split it up just to make it a little more digestible for you guys. In part one, we do get to meet Aaron and Vernon and learn a little bit more about their friendship origin, kind of their first impressions of each other, and all of our first impressions about each other, which, spoiler alert, were all really good. (laughs) And of course, we drank some gin and we got to talking. So many tangents happened. We talked about Viagra. We talked about boners. We talked about sex toy mishaps. We talked about dick piercings and different personality types and how different personalities kind of mesh together. So at the end of the episode, we do kind of start talking about Cards Against Humanity, which was a game that bonded Aaron and Vernon. I think it's a game that bonds a lot of people. And that's where I do cut it off in part one. Part two is the continuation of Cards Against Humanity. There's a lot more funny stories in that episode and also some really good conversations about friendship fights, how friendships can get stronger because of different fights that you might have with somebody, and so much more. I even managed to get like a 15-minute Patreon bonus episode out of this recording with Vernon and Aaron. So it was a doozy. I had so much fun. It was just one of those episodes where I forgot that there was a mic in the room, and that's what you always want with Intoxicated, because sometimes I think I can be concerned about, you know, am I asking the right questions? and how is this coming off? But this is an example of literally friends hanging out, drinking, and talking. And this is why I started the podcast. I love Aaron and Vernon so much. They are coming back. More than likely will be monthly regulars on Intoxicated, so you're going to be hearing so much more from them. Going to be doing a solo episode with each of them, and they'll both be back on again, for sure. This is only the tip of the iceberg. So speaking of Vernon and Aaron, they are both Patreons of Intoxicated. So this is another thing that was really, really cool about hanging out with them. They are huge advocates for this podcast, and I cannot tell you how happy that makes me to hang out with people who get it and get where I'm going with the show and are only going to make it better going forward. So new as of this week is Erin. Erin is a new Patreon on the show. She is joining, obviously, Vernon, and she's joining Scott and Tyler and Zoe. 
Heather, and Shannon. These are all my Patreons, and you're getting a shout out every week on the show. Thank you so much for supporting Intoxicated. It means the absolute world to me. So make sure if you are interested to check out our Patreon page, it is patreon.com backslash intoxicated. You can take a look at our rewards. This is actually supporting both intoxicated podcast and intoxicated reviews. So you're getting kind of like a two for one deal with us. We are always going to be working to make both shows better. And it's the support from people like you that really helps us to do that. So I say this every week, but do make sure you are subscribed to both intoxicated podcast and intoxicated reviews on Apple podcasts or wherever you find podcasts. To make sure you don't miss any episodes from us, if you really love us, you can leave us a rating or review on iTunes, which will greatly help the visibility of the show. And another way that you can really show us how much you love Intoxicated is to actually nominate us in the best podcast category for the Coast Best of Halifax Reader's Choice Awards 2018. This is something that goes on in Halifax every year in the summer, but essentially what happens is, is you nominate different people for different things, and the top six nominations then get put on a final ballot towards the actual awards. So it's kind of a three-step process, but last year we were really new when we started kind of rallying for votes, obviously way too early, but this time around we've been doing this for a while and we would really love to be nominated. So if that's something you're interested in, it's a small way to show your support for the show. It doesn't take a lot of time. I will link below to where you can actually nominate Intoxicated or Intoxicated Reviews for the Coast Best of Halifax. We know we are up against some really good podcasts in the city, but we do work really hard on the show and we are really proud of where we have come and super appreciative of our small but mighty community. So once again, thanks so much, guys. Thanks to everybody who's already nominated us. Put a call out on Facebook and I'm getting just notifications every day being like, I did it, I did it, I did it. And it makes me so happy. It would be really, really cool to see a nomination there. And obviously, make sure you do follow the podcast on social media. That is Intoxicated Podcast on Facebook and Instagram. On Twitter is in underscore toxicated. And you can email us as well to intoxicatedpodcast at gmail.com. Make sure to tell me what you think of Vern and Aaron because they coming back, whether you like it or not. This is a jam-packed episode, and I really think you guys are going to love it. It's super, super entertaining. So let's just get to it. Here's part one of my episode with Aaron and Vernon. Guys, welcome back to the Intoxicated Podcast. I am so excited right now because I have two new friends here on the show. So we have Vern. Hi, it's me. Okay, that's okay. Hey, what's up? (laughs) And Aaron. Hello. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is... This is a funny story, how this all happened, because I don't get set up much, in, just in, in, in general, but Sandra, who's done the show a number of times, actually, messaged me and she's like, so I have two friends who, uh, like, they were talking about starting a drinking podcast, and then I told them about your podcast, and then they said they wanted to be on, and I was like, done, what are their names? <laughs> <laughs> I randomly hear about this. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. It's like, God sent an angel. She's calling our names. So you guys have been thinking about doing the podcast thing. Yeah. And then and then this just kind of aligned. And so then we had a friend date. And it was lovely. I was the only one drinking, though. Oh, yeah. I drank a Pepsi. That's right. Yeah. I just needed caffeine. I was at the end of my day. I need liquor. I need to be in the mode. <laughs> But I was. I was feeling it. And I felt you right away. Like, I felt you. Oh, yeah. And so I that's felt the you. Thing. It was very inappropriate. It can be really nerve-wracking meeting new people. Oh, like, yeah. Whether that be a date situation or a, like, a friend hangout. Yeah. And, like, you guys had each other. I didn't have anybody. <laughs> I was going in there with no one. Yeah. So fuck you. No, <laughs> well, actually, I left Aaron in the lurch because I was still at work yeah. and this all was taking place in the bar downstairs from my work. Right. Um, but I was like, Aaron will be fine. Yeah. Because that was the thing. You had messaged me. I messaged you. I think, did I just say, do you want to be friends? Yes. Yeah. That literally is what I said. I was like, I like her. <laughs> and I was getting these texts from her going, oh, we've met the one. Oh my God. <laughs> so we hung out. We just totally, like, we were, we... We talked about some stuff in that hotel bar. We went yeah. down. We went deep. Like, I'm pretty sure I was just like, guys, this is this is me. This, here are my <laughs> shitty secrets. Do you want to do the podcast or not? And then you guys were like, yeah. 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 I honestly, I could have stuck around forever. Oh, I was yeah. really enjoying it. I thought, I thought I just didn't want to take up too much of your time. Oh, my shit. Take up all my time. <laughs> 
Seriously. Okay, done. You guys are so much fun. I'm so stoked you guys are you guys are here. So that's our friendship origin. That's our my friendship origin with you guys. Yeah. Um let's quickly get into what we're drinking. We are drinking <laughs> gin and puree, right? Mm-hmm. Grapefruit puree. I'm just no, I don't do the grapefruit. So what, what are you what are you drinking? Just Gen- sparkling water. Okay, just without the flavor. <laughs> yeah, I'm boring as fuck. That's not, there's nothing <laughs> listen. When I started the show, I was like, the guests choose the booze, okay? And then it started turning into, like, guests were just like, yeah, whatever you want to drink. I was just like, no, but, but pick something. Pick something fun. <laughs> like, because that's the whole point. Yeah. So you guys said gin right away. So yeah. is gin your jam? Vodka's my jam because my I jam. can't fucking drink beer anymore and I'm sad as hell about it. Yeah, well, that's the thing. A, Aaron's a, drinking prior to hard liquor, which, you know, beer is usually a gateway to hard liquor. Um, but she was an aficionado of beer. Yeah. So, but beer wasn't sitting so well anymore. No. So she needed to come over to my side, which was... <laughs> yeah. Gin. Liquor. Hard gin, stuff. I've been actually really warming up to gin. I feel I'm, like it's Vodka's hot older sister. Totally. Gin was just telling yes. me it's warming up to you. So that's so funny. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. It likes you a lot. <laughs> Well, I don't get it. So, like, when I drink rum, I get angry. Oh, yeah. Everybody oh. gets... Yeah. Like, like, everybody like gets a fucking, dr- fucking <laughs> fucked on rum. That is... I don't care who you are or where you're from. Rum like fucks so, you up. It gives me a- heart palpitations. I yeah. just become mm. hyper aware of my own heartbeat <laughs> to a point where, like, I'm feeling it everywhere. Like, I feel it in my fingertips and my vag. <laughs> like, I just... It's just like... <laughs> gong, 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 you're gonna die. Gong, 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 you're gonna die. Gong. You have 15 minutes to live. <laughs> I just, I, it's just not a fun time. Like, that said, like, when I went down south and I was drinking, like, the rum, like, frozen beverages, those mm. were delightful. Yeah. I can do those, but I think when it's, like, Well, it's warm, in situ, yeah. right? Like, that's where that stuff is made. That's where it was meant that's to be drank. That's You gotta go true. down south if you want to drink your rum. I fucking love down south. <laughs> so this is what we're drinking. We are we are drinking some gin bevies. Yeah. And it's delicious. I, bought, I have a whole quart, so... <laughs> Buckle in. We're coming in, in for a cheers. Woo-hoo. We need the cheers. Don't hit the mic arms. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <Ding, ding>. um, <laughs> I, I love it all. Yeah, I think we'll be hearing that a lot tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's our friendship origin. Mm-hmm. We essentially met very recently. <laughs> like how long ago was that? Like a couple weeks? A couple weeks ago. A couple yeah. weeks ago. And then there was... S- scheduled it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I just started drunk texting you pictures. Oh my shit. That was funny. Of, what did you send her? Oh, we oh were from just, Advocate? No, no. We were oh. out on the fucking deck. Oh, and, right, right, right. and I'm like, you were, this I, is us. <laughs> the cutest thing ever was you being like, I'm so sorry that I saw you. But, like you were like, I was like, a, someone knew that you were dating that you like were mortified that you said, I was just like, no nah, man, this is fucking sweet. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Until she gets to know you. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So no, that's actually something that's really great about Aaron and something that uh, I would say I was initially drawn to and I continue to appreciate to this day is that Aaron is careful about your feelings so long as, you know, things are going sort of mutually. And, you know, yeah. she's she's a good supporter, right? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, I like, can tell that. She she's a caretaker, <laughs> whatever, you know, but it, once you're taken care of, then you're a fucking asshole. Yeah. And I'm going to trample all over <laughs> you because you fucking love it. <laughs> but you didn't even realize all of a sudden you love it. Mm-hmm. And you couldn't live without it. So that's Aaron. Oh, mm-hmm. I love it. So how, okay, so that's our, and how, what's your guys' origin? And I, and I don't even just mean like, yeah, we're friends now, but like go no. back to the very, very beginning, the first moment of meeting. Can I do the first act? Go for it. Okay. Act one. Okay. Act one. Uh, I had just graduated hair school and I started an apprenticeship at Spirit Spa, where I currently work. And uh, so that was about a year and a half long. During that period, I met all of the clients of the person I was apprenticing under. And Aaron just happened to be one of those clients. Mm-hmm. Um, so Erin had been coming to see the guy I was apprenticing with for many, many years since she was like 14. Yep. So Dang. she's 300. So fuck you, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. There we go. <laughs> that was the first thing of the night. Yeah. No, what? <laughs> Too funny. I, I was 31. So you would have been 28, 29, 20. 29. Well, no, we're only, 30. we're only a year apart. <sighs> Is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. No, but it's a year and a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so 
anyway, so I was um, just starting my new career, and I was washing your hair, probably, as I recall. That's mm-hmm. what I would do. Yep. And then shortly after that, you got a job at Spirit Spa. I did. And then, so um, that's where I learned how good Aaron is at critiquing everything in the world. Oh, my God. <laughs> and <Okay>. so <laughs> she, she, she would just be like, oh, everything's going wrong, and this person's doing that. And I'd be like, I know. God, I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping so the, the tea with each other. Yeah, oh, fuck absolutely. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice. So I think that's kind of how it started. And then act two. Go ahead. I act actually... Two. Okay, here is when I remember first meeting you. <clears throat> um, it was before I even started at Spirit. Yep. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, know, you're, nope. you were just like, I do not Wait know. a second. all the time. <laughs> No, but this is what happened because I had been, yes, you were right. I had been seeing that hairstylist since I was 13 and I, this was like December of 2009 and I remember it because I was having severe postpartum depression. Oh shit. Yep. And I had a not yet six month old baby at home. I was severely sleep deprived. And I finally had that moment of, holy shit, what the fuck am I doing? And I had a hair appointment that day. And I was literally, I had literally hit rock bottom. And my, I called my husband at work. He came home. He got me. He's like, no, 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 let's still go to your hair appointment. And you were there. And you washed my hair that day. And it was really, really fucked up. Like what, that my hair washing. <laughs> oh yeah, it was fucking awful. <laughs> Terrible hair washing. It was my first day at work, <laughs> and it still sucks. <laughs> that is actually a lie. <laughs> no, but that's that is my very first memory of you. And through all of that bullshit of postpartum depression, I still remembered you, and you were like the sweetest guy ever. And sometimes you need that <clears throat> when you're in like that dark. A, a really dark oh my God. mood, and then you you ha- you have a moment with someone you hardly know, yeah, and it takes you away from your life, yeah, for just a moment, yeah, and like you just think to yourself like something lined up, yeah, and was looking out for you in a weird way, and that's maybe. why, and I know my husband, that's why he took me to that appointment that day because he knew getting me out of the house, getting me away from the baby, yeah, like getting me out of this box that I had been stuck in because it was really fucking dark. And it was, it was, it was really awful. And I didn't know what was going on. And then all of a sudden, everything just kind of came together. And I was like, what the fuck am I even doing? Uh Right. And then I went in and it was just like, I don't know. It was like total calm. Mm -hmm. And then. It couldn't have been more than six months after that, that you started working at Spirit. No. And that was it because I, that was December of 2009. And then I was done mat leave in June of 2010. And I started in July of 2010. Right. And I was like, so kind of, I'm super shy normally. Mm. Um, But I'm super confident in the jobs that I do because I know my shit. So I I know I do it well. Good. I've seen her do it well. I can tell. Yeah. (laughs) And that's the thing. Like, I I know what I I need to do. I feel I could put you in charge of something. Fuck yeah. Totally trust that you could handle. Like, and this is the second time that we've hung out. Yeah. And like, we've talked on Facebook. I've talked to you on Instagram. If you and I ever get married, not you to each other, but if we separately got married to other people. Would be the planner. She'd be the planner. Done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm okay with marrying you too. Well, that'd be all right. I mean, like. Split bills. (laughs) We could split. Like, it it would just find it. Like, and then we could like go, go fuck all we want. Yeah. We would have two bedrooms on separate ends. You're going to totally. have to come and live Big in Dartmouth, house. Yeah. I mean, if you can, if there's some Dartmouth D that... Okay. <laughs> there's so much Dartmouth is D. It's worth moving here for. Yeah. Maybe Glinder I will. If is any example of the oh, D that is yeah. available in Dartmouth... Plus, that's only 10% of the population because Grinder is the gays and that's 10%. Yeah. There's so much hard D. Ooh, the hard in particular would, would be great because oh, I don't have yeah. a lot of experience with those types that's of That's rock hard because they're so unsatisfied in the rest of their po lives. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just kidding. I actually have been really surprised since I moved to Dartmouth. Um <clears throat> That there's just so many awesome people there. But, yeah. And and there's been a lot of, like, really hot D approach me. Huh. And why did you move to Dartmouth? To Ooh. be closer to the P. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the P. <pea. laughs> so, 
That's crazy. So you guys worked together. For just a year. And how, but like, it must, there must be a point in friendship where it moves from coworkers to totally. legit, like you guys are like family. I remember point, our right? first date. Oh, <laughs> oh, tell. Do you remember it? Actually, I would probably call our first date the Christmas party. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Because I think yes. it was that Christmas party where, okay, so we were both obsessed with Janelle Monae. We were like, <gasps> Queen! Uh, yeah, yeah we were like awesome. tipping, tipping on the tightrope. Yes. Hard. And uh, <clears throat> it was our song and it came on and we danced and it was just, she was fucking loaded. <laughs> and I'm just always, always fucking loaded. So like, well. we just, the stars were lining up. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> so I was lining up, and yeah. I think then that's where we became closer at work. But I, our yeah. first date, date, date? Yeah. Go on. You, <laughs> did, weren't we talking earlier about how I'm the details person? You are. Yes. Very detail-oriented. Of course. Um, so our first date, you were like, oh, I would totally do your hair on my day off, and then we could, like, totally go get lunch. And I, this, t- like, little insecure girl oh, yeah. from, Aww. like... Dartmouth, Cole Harbor, and you know, just a always worldly in- hairdresser of many talents. <laughs> but totally right, <laughs> and whatever. And that's exactly it. Right, <laughs> that's what I say. You did your hair, and he was like, "Yeah, let's totally book a day." And it, you know, you make those plans with people, and it just never happens. Right, it, that is not the way Vernon Aww. rolls. He's like, "No, seriously, like this day, and then we can go get lunch." And I'm going to be on time, which means 30 minutes early, mm-hmm. because I might not be responsible in any other part of my life, but for some reason, mm-hmm. I'm on time to shit. Yeah. 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 So anyway, I don't remember any of this. So <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember what color we would have done. It might have just been a cut, because you were trying to get more confident in short women's cuts. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you've given me some fucked up haircuts over the years. How long? How long? Have, how many years of friendship has this been? Uh, Xavier's Seven. nine, eight. eight. Okay, so almost a decade. Yeah. yeah. Fuck a decade, man. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about that the other show. day. You need to do some no. bitching for your ten year friend anniversary. We do. We should be right around our fortieth birthdays. Fuck. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, Girl. we <laughs> we I went over and uh, I went over to Spirit and you did my hair. You did a cut and you were like, S- I could tell you were so fucking nervous, mm-hmm. especially Aww. with the like the fade and everything. Mm. I also have a tremor, which doesn't hold me back. <laughs> no, in your hands. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah, you would never tell. I have a neurologist client who shall not be named, but she was explaining to me that there are several drugs uh, and therapies and approaches and blah, 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 but all of them have side effects and probably the best thing I should do is have a shot of liquor before I start my job, <laughs> before I start my day. Oh my God. And can you I be just, my... Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. This is really hard for me because okay. I haven't been here in a while. Okay. Can you do my hair sometime? Sure. Oh my god, we'll we'll totally make it like I a, I a have date. been I had a hairdresser that I loved so much and I had a good personal relationship with and mm-hmm. then she changed salons. And ever since then, I just kind of go wherever. Yeah. And I just kind of book my appointments like randomly and I just take whoever's <clears throat> available. And you want to know what? I'm fucking done. <laughs> I'm done with that. Like, because they always cut my layers differently every time. Yeah. And it ends up like, I don't know, just this needs some work. Like, I'm good at makeup and hair. I'm like fucking clueless about it. There are Um, two things about that. One, it's so helpful to have a historical relationship. Yes. Where you can like look back and say, we've did, we've done this, 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 and this. Yeah. It's like going through eras of your life. Absolutely. But you can also get stagnant. So sometimes you need to like switch that up. That's, I want to switch it up. So are you the type to be like, to like take someone and be like, I this is what I think would look bitching on you, and just be totally honest. Like, are you that type of hairdresser? I am the type of hairdresser to give you what I think works best for your lifestyle, for your face shape, for the way that you dress, for your the amount of time that you have to spend styling your hair, Damn. and and if any of those things is in discord with the other. Then we have to adjust it accordingly. Love it. Yeah. Um, but that can get boring. But I find the alternative to that is sometimes you give some someone a style that they can't work with, but it looks great when they leave the salon and they're so excited because right. they got a new haircut, but they can't do anything. You remember which hairstyle that was with me? No. <laughs> You don't remember jack shit. Nope. <laughs> I don't remember my name. 
Where, I would love to what? see the various hairstyles. Oh, I have them all. I would love There's to see There's actually a montage. We could put that up on the... That would be a really cool yeah. picture. Yeah. 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 Instagram picture. Because yeah. it starts really subtle. And and then, yeah. I mean, we're at... What are we at now? Purple. Oh, I love it. Purple, pink, it's like, and copper. So it, it goes from purple to pink to like an orange, right? Yeah. Do I have that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking <clears throat> phenomenal. So... And of course, I'm wearing a hat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cover that beautiful hair. But it's it's a mess, and I constantly feel judged by him. But I also love shit out of him. I but I need she exciting tries hair. Very hard. I'm at a, I'm finally at a point where I'm like I'm yeah. ready for some exciting hair. I yeah, want something different. I love the black on me. But Can I just I say yes, you're gorgeous? Me. You put a lot Seconded. of effort into your makeup. Yeah, and the makeup is not overdone, but it looks Thank really you. good. Exactly. That's kind of. That's kind of um, I, it used to be different. I think I used to do a lot more. Mm. Uh, now it's like from the time I get up to when I leave, it's an hour, which I don't think is that bad. Yeah. No, That's I'm including like coffee and washing my face and <laughs> skincare and everything that goes in with that. No. Um, but I'm learning to like tone it down a smidge, mm. smidgen, while still... Because when I don't wear makeup, and it's funny, because I was just in a wedding, and I chose not to have my makeup done, mm-hmm. uh, and the makeup lady showed up to do the other <laughs> girl's makeup. And this was early in the morning. I didn't have a stitch on. I had some CC cream on, I think, and that was it. Because <laughs> girl got a dealt acne, and I fucking hate it. But anyway. Um, CC is less than BB, right? Uh, it's is less color than correcting. A. I don't really... <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my God. We're running Fuck. out of letters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like man. Yeah, what's an AA cream? We're going to yeah. have to go to Cyrillic. <laughs> An AA cream. We need to invent that somehow. You rub it on your liver. Infused with vodka. Yeah. Really. Yeah, yeah. To like moisturize the skin. It's the last step. Uh, it revives the liver <laughs> from right. all but the she, damage you've done. I need that done. for my tremor. <laughs> she yeah. looked at me. And like, this was like an older woman who does like Mary Kay makeup. I'm a control freak with my makeup. That's my issue. Yeah. Uh, unless I know that they can go full beat and like go hard on me and like do the full bake and yeah. all the highlighter and, you got me yeah yeah that's what instagram i because that's what i like oily and the thing is if i don't bake it's gonna look like shit um but she looks at me and i didn't have a stitch of eye makeup on she goes yeah you have no eyes i get why you wear it now and i'm like fucking fair oh, no, 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 no 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 that's the thing like when i don't have makeup on i look like i'm about 15 not i don't look bad oh god i just look way younger <laughs> So I feel so much better when I just have a little bit on. Can I also say that uh, having looked at your Instagram, you really know your angles. You know what you look like when you're lit. Mm Mm-hmm. And and we're all getting lit right now. We're getting lit! Yeah! Oh, I love it. We're just starting (laughs) off with compliments, and then by the end of this, we're all going to hate each other. Exactly. I'm just joking. We're not. I love you. I love, I, I love you guys. I don't know how. Like, I don't. I'm not sure, and I don't know you that well. But I'm not sure what you guys could say at this point to make me not like you. I don't know. Test me. Like, we're pretty awesome. <laughs> Test me. <laughs> no. See, I'm a fucking asshole, but it, for the people who are in my circle, mm. and you, I definitely hit it off with over text, like, right away. Yeah. Because you were quick, and you were smart, and I was like, You're so smart. she knows what's up. Thank you. And because, c- well, that's exactly it. I'm fucking sarcastic to a fault. <laughs> And I'm teaching my son the fine art of sarcasm. And last oh, last he's weekend, learning. oh my god, last weekend I can't fuck. I can't remember what he said, but I sat on the couch and I was like, "God damn it, I'm a great fucking mother." <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't know. He said something. And I wish I could remember it, but I can't. It's weird that you say like that. You said that you're sarcastic and you get along with me because I'm not sarcastic. <laughs> but it's the self-deprecating. And that's the thing. I, I feel like when sarcastic people meet self-deprecating people, yeah. it can go, it can either be like... A total fucking train wreck. Or amazing. Yes. Like, it's just, it needs to, like, be the right... Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, yeah. I'm... And I'm getting better at picking up sarcasm, but sometimes... Depends on the mood. If I'm stressed out at all, mm. and someone's being sarcastic at me, I will not pick it up. No. Yeah, it's it, really hard to it, interpret. It, it yeah. will go right over my head, and I will just be like, oh, like... I'm busy right now, so please don't. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, so. there's, there's a time and place for sarcasm. There is, and for sure. Yeah. I I don't know. I think it's because I was brought You're up. You're pretty good at choosing it, but every once in a while, like, choosing the time and place. Yeah. But every once in a while, it's like, it's like your default mode setting. Mm. And it can be a little Tourette's. <laughs> but... 
<laughs> but I'm the I'm same way. Tourette's. Like I tell like dad jokes like it's Tourette's. Oh, fucking dad jokes! I hate them. Right. Oh my god. What do you call um, Rambo in a rain hat? Oh god. What? Sal Wester Stallone. Oh my fucking Christ! And I made that. I made that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes, sometimes it needs half a ding. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even want to give him that. So that half a ding is gonna keep me going for weeks. That's, that's what why I, I say, don't need a man. That's what I say about my sexual partner. Yes. <laughs> Nobody's just, measuring up. I'm, you go back to like the Dartmouth hard dicks thing. Like <laughs> you want to I, know more? I, I, I I'm just, gonna set up a fake Tinder account for you. I, I'll farm some boys. Well, I was with. Like, I was, like, hanging out with a friend, like, a while back. And, like, we were just talking about, like, banging dudes, like, casual sex or whatever. And we were just like, so do hard dicks exist in your 30s? Because, like, oh. <laughs> that's the thing. They're, they're, like, I feel like they're few and far between at this <laughs> point. I actually, and I'm like, what? And I don't want to go to that, because I'm pretty confident in my life right now. But, like, I don't want to go to, ooh, it's me. He doesn't like me. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go there. No, it's his fucking But sometimes problem. I accidentally go there. No. I have a couple things to say about that. Yes, tell me everything. And one is, um, a drunk dick is never going to be a hard dick. No. And most of my sex is drunk sex, so fair enough. Right. <laughs> okay. And, and or, like, I've totally been there. Involved. I've totally been there. Yeah. Um, but the other thing is that porn is just pervasive in our society you cannot have an urge to sit down and jerk off and not think i'm going to turn on you porn or ham- x hamster or yep. whatever else you look at yeah and um that's true and i i think that that excessive masturbation oh, it definitely yeah. uses up all that energy that would otherwise be getting your dick hard mm-hmm. damn so true yeah that actually that 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 you make so a if you good point. if you make send if you meet a man you like Okay. And you um, buy him a silent yoga retreat for two weeks. <laughs> when he comes back, it will fuck you like you never. Oh, oh the silent yeah. yoga retreat. Yeah, yeah. You That's need to I'm take saying. away the phone. You need to take away the computer. You need to take away the tablet. But you also need to, but, like, men all together need to man up about that. Like, they need to be like, I, if if I have this partner, if I want to get this partner, if I mm. want to go out tonight and not get whiskey dick, any of those things that I want. Then I can't be sitting around my house jerking off, pleasuring myself all the time. Exactly. I'm God sorry, man. but the real thing is better than yep. watching a fucking video. Thank you. Because yes. I watch porn so fucking much, but like, I mean, it's not. I I really yeah. do. Like, it's I I don't know where I'd be without it. Yeah. Um. But like, it's it's not the same with girls, I guess. But oh man, you know I can't presume really to say, but I can I can say that I went through a phase in my life where I was worried. Ah. about that like in and around when i turned 30 mm. and i actually had some help with that um pharmaceutically Ooh. and that was interesting i can tell you a few interesting yep. things about i want to jobs. know everything <laughs> okay so first of all how many episodes how we are we doing i love how that we got into this podcast with no set topic really and we're just like let's talk about viagra <laughs> yeah. do it so viagra is interesting because um when you take it about like 12 to 20 minutes later you start to see colors. Okay, this I should speak for myself because I don't. I could be really fucked up, and I'm probably. I feel an alien. like it's the, an appropriate know. time to start the live stream. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, <laughs> when I'm you take Viagra, Viagra, you start Cialis. to see colors. Yeah. yeah. And that's the. I'm gonna refill. Time. Yeah. I'm gonna refill. Yeah. yeah. Do the drink. Yeah. Let's refill drinks. Hi, this everybody. is like half a shot, and we're all gonna die. And so we're not gonna be able to see shit. I can't see anything. I can't see shit either. So I can't see who's there. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna do a shot and vomit. Woo-hoo! Let's go. <laughs> wait, wait. What is this? Okay, this is... we, we should clarify for the podcast listeners. It's we are we took a drink break and we are going to do a shot of What's grape it? spirit. <laughs> it was a free fucking sample on the uh, gin that you brought. You know what I think this actually <sighs> smells like is grappa, which is an Italian spirit. It smells like Windex. I drank this. It in does. Florence. It is fucking no. Windex. You know what it smells like? It's. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Oh my god! I can't take you anywhere, even in my own house. I can't take you in my own house. <laughs> okay, let's fucking do this. Okay. okay. It yeah. It smells awful, but I'm gonna get this ready to chase because oh my god, because you're a pussy. Pepsi. <laughs> you got it. That wasn't that bad. Yeah, that's pretty much grappa. As Sarah just totally <laughs> fucking chugs an entire glass. <laughs> Nicely done. Well done, Sarah. I did it! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Look at the red. Oh, okay. God, so, I love turning into a guys, weird girl. Guys, for okay. those just tuning in, we're talking about Viagra. Okay. <laughs> How did, the How did we get go? to this? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyways, so you oh, said men these days. you it was said men these days. yes yeah. when you take Vi- Viagra, you see colors, right? So, so explain. Well, you know how there's this whole unicorn trend that's we're kind of getting oh, past it now, but God, they, you know how Starbucks did that unicorn frappe, unicorn frappe, frappuccino. There's yeah. like <laughs> unicorn everything. Yeah, unicorns so, can fuck off and die. Yeah, really. well, it's funny because unicorns are like. Hard horned, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're hard horned. Yeah. And uh, and you see unicorn colors when you take Viagra. <laughs> if I take Viagra, will can we I get see- some Viagra? I know. I, let's should- test this. Oh, oh we, we totally do it. <laughs> I can get a script, I swear. What? Wait, is there a female, isn't there like a female Viagra that like just increases your sex drive? Is it different or is it just women taking regular Viagra? I think it's a different kind of drug. Okay. Yeah. But <sighs> but also women are just usually not that interested unless you know how to fucking do it. What did I <laughs> see where this woman took Viagra I mean, really? and she was like... Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit. Our bell... Quota is insane. Right I now. love that because I said ding, that. Ding, I was like, ding, I, ding, ding, you know what this ding, podcast ding. needs is more bell. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning. Yes, it's more so, than just P and the V. People. Okay, so you you I got went through fi- a period where it just wasn't kind of like working, and I'll tell you why. Because I was working it too much yeah. from every angle, from the ceiling. No, but <laughs> um, and Ooh, then shit. so. I just happened to have somebody encourage me to go and see about, yeah. you know, sourcing out some pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Why, so why, I why went and did that and I got a script for both Viagra and Cialis. And Cialis I remember is, that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is that actually, antidepressant? No, Cialis is like, it's like the longer lasting version of oh. Viagra. So it's less intense, but it lasts over three days. So it was. Wait, of, the boner doesn't last over three days, does it? Your ability to instantaneously get a boner. To, to some extent. I mean, it still depends on how drunk you are and blah, blah, blah. There's still mitigating factors, but... Sarah's going tomorrow to the pharmacy. And <laughs> I need to give this to all the men I've been yeah. with. Well, the, and the thing all about the it men. is, there's yeah. no harmful side effects except for unicorn colors. So you could slip a Mickey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's no side effect other than unicorn colors. Yes. That's not a bad side effect, no, really. That's a great one, really. That's, awesome. that's a gift. Do you just see yeah. it kind of everywhere? Like, is uh, it... Uh, just kind of like well it's weird because it's everything that you see <laughs> everywhere that you look <laughs> it's like not it just was, in the center you were like the one percent you were like the one percent in this well I did a lot of <clears throat> anyway <laughs> <laughs> dot 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 yeah flashback yeah yeah um, but that was a very long time ago and anyway so I tried yeah. this out and it worked for me for a while but it's damn fucking expensive <laughs> mm, I understand yeah. it's gotten cheaper there's like uh, knockoffs generic version yeah the generic version um, oh okay uh, yeah Viagra now, a little bit which, cheaper yeah yeah um, but you know it's fun yeah it's I recommend fun. it <laughs> yeah especially to cokeheads because that's really helpful oh. aren't cokeheads always hard or are they always soft? The opposite. Yeah. They're always soft. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Never date I, a cokehead, ladies. The only time I ever did coke was while banging somebody. <laughs> so, and I don't remember there being problems. Well, it depends that was... on a lot of things. <laughs> depends on who you are and what your prostate is made yeah. up of. Yeah. You know, mine is made of adamantium. <laughs> 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 so I don't have that problem. <laughs> I'm fucking done. <laughs> okay. I can't breathe. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. Adamantium prostate. <laughs> That's the hashtag. Yes. So I, Man I used of to, steel. I used to do a thing where I would put a hashtag in the episode. Yeah. Like that, towards the end. Yeah. Normally. So for people who make it through the whole episode, they can like comment with the hashtag. Yeah. If they made it through the whole episode. So oh, we'll come back to that. At the yeah. Yeah. We will come back to that. Totally. Right. Yeah. Oh my god. How did Viagra. we get from our friendship story we, to fucking Viagra? It was a very long oh, listen to the episode, bitch. <laughs> no, that's true. Listen to the fucking episode. What's I checked out ten you? minutes ago, sorry. I know. <laughs> it's my house okay, and I'm not no, even so, paying attention. I wanna... the, the friendship origin story, it kinda stopped at a certain point. Can you remember and pick it back up? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Pick it up. Absolutely. It was the hair. The, it, yeah. it was the postpartum hair appointment. Yes. Postpartum hair appointment. So, 
But oh god. Okay, but then I, no, that was <laughs> it was fucking messy. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I started it. <laughs> I started working with you. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Oh god. There was hair everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you, you normally you yeah. Okay. <laughs> It took how many years did it take you to stop giving me like a full fucking beard when you were giving me oh, my fade? That's true. And actually I, I worked that for every comedic edge it possibly yep. could have. Yeah. But when it came down to it, when I would do Aaron's hair, oh. she would just have a full beard. Yep. Oh no. It would just like would it somehow all trickle down. And Aaron is well endowed. That off? She has like like nice you Oh my god. Undulating yeah, bosoms. Boobs. Nice, thank you. Yeah, yeah. they're amazing. <laughs> they're they're but really when nice. she sits down in my see chair, each other's high other's stuff oh um, oh that well i leave my my zipper open all the time, all the time. she still never commented about the size or the color but have you seen it at all no have you seen no. pictures of each other no okay uh, interesting she changed let's do it right now she no. Changed. No. <laughs> oh, okay. she changed. no i i remember she changed um in the change room at the clothing shop yes ah. so i've seen more of her probably than she's seen of me unless but there was that time that you had me hold a certain piercing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You dragged what? me into the men's room at Where? a Christmas party. Was that it? Yes. It was after I had left and I was your date because you always try and get me at the Christmas parties. And I just, I can't keep up. But it, w- it was after I had left, left the spa and you were like, you're coming. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you had to add the bitch in there. Of course. You're coming. <laughs> bitch. They had other options. Uh, sorry. But sorry, they bitch. Were not. Yeah. Bitch. Bitch. Yeah. Ooh, oh, mean, yes. We don't waste time on consonants. No. Yeah. Um, so, like yeah. You, it was like near the end of the night, and I, I had been playing the mom to like so many fucking people that <sighs> night. No, but you know what? That's what I do. And but I, you need to have fun too. Oh, I was totally having okay, fun. Good. There were so many stories that night: broken toilets, smashed glasses. Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, was tell, that tell, tell, tell. So tell, okay, tell. but <clears throat> then you dragged me into the bathroom, and you were like, "Here, hold this." And I put my hand out, and I was like, "I vaguely remember that." You fucking piece of shit! What was it? His fucking piercing from his dick. I was and, like, is and, it heavy? <laughs> and I'm standing, and I am drunk. I am drunk. But I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, man? I'm like, oh, whatever. Smell it. Does it stink? Oh, God. <laughs> you had a, did that hurt? Uh, like, you wouldn't believe. Uh, where does the piercing go? So here's the penis. <laughs> where does the piercing go? Where, where is it gone? <laughs> this is the penis. <laughs> does it go in the t- like a, the, where does it go? What happened? I, I actually don't Explain. know. Explain. Well, piercing is funny like that because it goes wherever you want it, but there are standard places that you put it, and I think the most popular one is Prince Albert. So yes. that's where just <laughs> below the head of your penis, the hole on the front. Oh. And and then it goes back through the hole and it's just like you know kind of like a circular thing where it goes hmm. in a fake no hole thanks. and out a real hole and back into the fake hole and back out of the real hole. Hmm. Pass. Hard pass. I I've <coughs> often been like I would like to be that girl with a clit ring. That's hardcore. And, uh, there's there's a huge difference. But I. I do not. I can. I don't think I would ever be able to do it. No. There's a huge difference because, like. It just seemed, well, whatever. For women, it's like you go from nipple ring to fucking clit ring. I'm sorry. There is, that's like a giant fucking leap. Well, I also They say it makes more sensitive. No, that's not true. It just makes you hurt for many, many weeks. (laughs) Exactly. If that's sensitivity, then you just have emotional problems. Yeah. Oh my God. Highly recommend nipple rings. Totally. Oh. I don't know if I want to mess these up though. Meh. Mess them up? (laughs) What did you just say to hundreds of thousands of people? <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm not. I'm not discriminating, but it's those just... are beautiful, by the way. I enjoy them. You haven't even seen them well, there yet. Well, they are. They're they're good. Yeah. I mean, I like them from here. I like. I I take a lot of pride in my breasts. There like, you a go. Lot. Hey, Instagram have... live stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, Pride Month. Yeah, it's it is Pride Month. Is it Pride? But yeah. isn't Halifax Pride not until July? It is, I know. I know. I don't understand that. Behind the time. How the fuck is that a thing? I think it's because. Our fucking June weather sucks, and obviously this 
months has you been know what I was fucking weird. Too, is that the act? Oh, sorry. Isn't it funny that that's the finger? Fuck okay, you. so she had a finger injury, and it just happens to be her middle finger. I think the universe is trying to tell her something. It's like yeah. either it needs to be up more, or like you used it too much and it's okay. broke now. But here's the thing: I've broken this finger now three times. Okay, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, hey, cool, what's cool, up? cool. Go, 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 go. If you just did that. Cool, 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 cool. That was the shot talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay. So That grape <laughs> spirit. Sure Whatever was. the fuck that was, it's going to make us blind tomorrow. <laughs> I probably won't be able to see the color blue anymore. We just drank. Get some Viagra and you can <laughs> see all of the colors. <laughs> I, I want to look up, like, side effects of Vi- Viagra and see if anyone else experienced okay. the same thing. You need, Vernon needs to get the prescription. You I and need I to need do to it. Do, I would totally do it with And then you. we need to podcast about it. Hell yes. While we, after we take the Viagra. <laughs> This is seriously like okay. So like one of the things I noticed with taking Viagra was that like when it wasn't. I love that you. I love that you went quiet. I don't know why. But we've been talking about dick piercings and like. But when it wasn't necessary, it was the best because you're just like you're. You feel like the most virile man on the planet when you walk into the kitchen to get a glass of water and you can't get to the sink. (laughs) It's amazing. It's fucking amazing. Oh, fuck. I love it. Ah, you're like bumping into things. You like impale yourself Excuse a little me, bit. Counter. <laughs> you're like not. You're no me. match for me. <laughs> so when you fuck on Viagra, oh, you just God. fuck forever. I never did it. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm a bottom. Oh, oh my God. God. I, I don't know. I don't know but why. When guys, fuck you now. They think you want to be. You think you know that you're gonna be all hard, but they like. I just think that when guys are fucking you, that they're kind of turning your erection off because the off buttons on the inside. But also, I really enjoy it. But the off buttons on the inside, and then it gives mixed messages, and it's just a whole mess. Do you ever talk, or are you just strictly? Oh, I've done it. And just not a fan. <laughs> Uh, it's not not a fan. It's just I don't feel compelled. Okay, fair enough. But then uh, my other theory is is that I masturbate too much. So the interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I want to know how much too much is too for much. a guy. Uh, I, I multiple think times sliding, a day. Sliding scale. For That's sure. the thing. Yeah. It's you can't say that like you have to cut it off at this point for anybody, women included, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, but how many times a day, Aaron? Fuck you. Not I say I will shit. not. I don't do it every day. I don't do it every day. No. Really? Not every day. Really? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes girls busy. I got stuff to do. I got, it takes a little longer. Yeah, I, but I would say like every other day. There you go. Yeah. I mean, if you had said every but then other there's, week. But it depends on hormones, right? Because I feel oh, like God, some. Oh, God, yes. Because if you are on your period. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no, for me, if I'm on my period, it's like... Game on? It's like I am constantly horny. Like, I'm painfully horny. Yeah. Like, Hello? Yeah, no, I can't talk to you right now. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like multiple times a day yeah. while on my period. Yeah. Right. And then I would say, like, during... And then if I'm ever, like, really, really horny off my period, I'm just like, I bet you I'm ovulating right now. And I'll <laughs> pull up my period tracker app, and it's like, yep, it's a high chance to get pregnant. And I'm like, well, fuck. We're staying in the night. <laughs> Let's just wrap this shit in cellophane. Make sure that chastity we're safe. Belt. Yeah. <laughs> Vibrating chastity belt. Oh, 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 yes. Nobody ever thought of that. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Trademarked. Trademarked. Right here. You heard it first. Yeah. <laughs> like a gay man. We almost cannot release. Like we can't, we've said too much. <laughs> Can we go to market with this? Wow. I'll that go. was like. I'll yeah, know. that was perfect. <laughs> Let's just go right to uh, marketing. We don't even need R and D. No, no, we don't no. need R and D. The only thing that's missing, as we know, <laughs> you know, we go to, to pleasures and treasures. Yeah, Main yeah. Street Dharma. <laughs> oh, do they have vibrating chests? About no, they don't. Are you guys sex toy people? <laughs> yep. Totally. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I feel like. <laughs> 
This is... <laughs> Okay, this coming from the woman who has been married for 13 and a half years. Absolutely. fucking lutely Do you have multiple sex Yes. Sex? How many? Wait, let me guess. <laughs> yes! Guess! <laughs> this is fucking great. I've never even thought and about this before. I know. I've never asked um, Is it... Okay, okay, this is going to kind of be like um, a 20, 20 questions uh, sex toy so, round. Okay. So, is it more than 10? Okay, I guess we need to define sex, sex toys. Toy. As long as we don't need to define ten. <laughs> okay, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I don't want to fucking um, count. Okay, I, I would say any physical item. Okay. Singular encapsulated thing that you purchased. An item you purchased. Okay. Yeah. More than ten that I currently own. <laughs> Oh, that's oh. true, because you Cur- purge every once in a while, Cur- too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get rid of that old silicone, man. Like, it's not going to stay around forever. Um, I think I still have my first vibrator. I, I'm, like, attached to it. I, so you know what? Yeah, totally. Like first- I, I know. Run. It's like, oh. <laughs> oh. I remember so, so many nights with you. My first um, one is still in production. I threw it away years ago, and I rebought it. Oh my god! I, we are gonna get to you now. We're, we got. Sorry, right. I gotta figure out how many you have and how many you have. Okay. Um, so you need to give me some hints to this. Okay. Current phallic sex toys. Phallic. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Uh, is it less than ten or more than ten? Less than. Is it seven? <laughs> no. Lower. Is it five? Yes. Nice! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> hey, Instagram boy! Hey, hey, what's going on? Um, it's a quintuple. I know. Like triple, and so, basically, any friend that is ever going to listen to this fucking podcast, you'll be abs... Whatever. I don't care. Fuck them. Really, I'm almost 37. I fucking enjoy sex. I've been married to the same man for almost 14 years. He's and wonderful. Hello. Yes, he is. Wonderful. We will introduce him. I haven't met him yet. Uh, exactly. I barely <laughs> met you guys. <laughs> so, she uh, dies and I get him, so I'm super excited. Yes. And uh, no, seriously, if if I die first, Vernon gets my husband. Oh, okay. It's, we, so we talked about this on the car ride over here. <laughs> well, actually, wait. Okay, I'm going to have myself. Oh how my many God. sex toys do you have? <laughs> Should we talk about how many I currently have or how many sent me to the hospital? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You need to you need to tell that story, All right. baby. All right, I will. Well, first yep. tell us how many. Okay. Is it eight? Oh God, the counting. Is it? <laughs> how, how many? How many hands do you need, honey? To, to need more yeah. hands. Yeah. Ow. I'm sorry. God damn it! I, that's a real inconvenience. Well, fuck you too, man. <laughs> I'm a basic ass bitch. I only have one right now that I'm using. Girl, get on it. We need a shopping trip. Vibrations are hit or miss with my yeah clit area. That's weird. Um, I do not do vibration. It no sometimes too much. Yeah. So for me, it's more pressure. Okay. Like (laughs) she's like yeah. Actually, me too. Like it needs to be yeah. And and friction. So. I need a okay. lot of it because yeah, I you need do. something vain. Because what I learned, and this was mind blowing to me, because I only learned it this year, was that the clit is not just the tip of that one thing. It's it's a whole, it's a thing. whole nervous system. It's, it's like engulfing <laughs> yeah. that whole area. Assembly. It's it's a huge thing. Yeah, and I didn't realize that, and I was like, well, I only seem to come when I'm on top with guys. So like, I guess that's a vaginal orgasm, and no, that's no. still clitoral. Yep. Mm-hmm. My, it changed my whole life, but go on. Fascinating. Yeah, it's really fascinating. Oh my god, we're totally doing like I, a whole other podcast of just sex talk. I signed up with, uh, oh my god, yes, it's OMGS, it's a website mm-hmm. that teaches women how to masturbate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is changed, like, like they have real life <laughs> videos, and it's not like porn. Like, you're not meant to be like, oh, this is so hot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I love how I did this. Oh, I love how she's um, just totally jerking off. But like, it's it's educational though. Like, a woman will like talk about the techniques she uses, and then she'll show a video of her actually doing it. Mm-hmm. And you you legit are like, oh okay, let me try. 
And then you're just like, a whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I took, we took over with a lot of vagina I, I just went through like a whole dream sequence. With you. <laughs> that was awesome. My masturbation journey. <laughs> oh, wow. I feel so close to you. <laughs> but you know what? More people need to talk about it. Yeah. So favorite song well, for karaoke, by the female way. Female pleasure in general, I feel like. Uh, yes. I would like to do a whole episode just about female pleasure. I'm totally I there. Won't be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can play bartender. I'll listen to it though. Hey, I will. You, could, yeah. you could play bartender. Oh, okay, I'm no, I'm good for that. Yeah, no, you you need to be around. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I'll okay. be supportive. Yeah. Did you count your sex toys? How uh, many? It's like eight. Okay. So Jesus Christ. Those are the phallic-ish Fuck. ones. And some I need of them more sex toys. Like, you do, girl. Some of them Come look on. like aliens, but anyway. Damn. It's yeah. It's okay. So what and are the, the sex toys that sent you to the hospital? Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, so this is really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my notepad out. <laughs> I just need to make sure I... Um, <clears throat> you phrase it correctly. And the host just <laughs> fucked the table. <laughs> no, this fucking talk. We might as well try something that's not marketed as a sex toy. <laughs> something gets fucked live on the live stream. <laughs> This stuff happens. It does in the world. You know, whatever. Um, we're we're loosey goosey. Okay, but I'm not going about... for it. So, like, let's wait until yeah, somebody wants to. Someone getting on, fucked people. on camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so we've known each other a total of four hours. <laughs> and suddenly, we need to find apparently for a porn movie. I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay. Sex toy. So hospital. the sex toy that sent me to the hospital. <laughs> so this was after uh, I broke up with my boyfriend. I was still living in the house with him. <laughs> I was not working there anymore. Right, right, right. I don't even know how you found out about that. But oh, you texted me, and at first I was like, "I'm sorry, what?" And then I was like, "Oh, <laughs> fuck!" <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty serious. It was. It was serious. Oh, so shit. let me just start off by saying do not sit on anything that doesn't have balls. Because they're there for a reason. They're there for a reason. Yes. Don't Okay, if wait, I'm trying to understand. If you're that unlucky soul that's like, yeah, I can take all of it. <laughs> and you take all of it and it goes on a funny angle, then the ambulance comes, and blah blah blah. Yeah. So um, I've told so many people the story that I, it just, it's just like, it's a human experience story. It's a human interest. Um, and people find it fucking hilarious and they tell all their friends about it. <laughs> yeah. You're, you are a Halifax fucking legend. Is this like a cautionary you. tale? It is. Totally. Okay. But what's weird is it's not, you know, that rare. It's just that like, <laughs> It's me, and it was way more fabulous. So here we go. Oh, God. So Gather around this for story time, kids. (laughs) So so it was the night after I played pool with friends of mine. One was a former roommate. One is a current friend. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Mary. What's up? (laughs) Hi, Cheryl and Mary. What up? Hope you're subscribed. (laughs) Please subscribe soon. Yeah. For it's too late because it's done. (laughs) Oh, God. I died of an insertion. Um, (laughs) It could happen. It could happen. Anyway. Everybody's puking. Everybody's puking. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> um, Sarah's dead. Oh, my God. Sarah's going to die in my house. I swear. <laughs> okay, we're good. Well, we're I'm good. glad you didn't spit, so. Okay. We're fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was an awesome night. We played pool, whatever. I got way too drunk. Anyways, I woke up the next morning. My ex-boyfriend, he went off to work. I was hungover. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but like when I'm hungover, I'm so much hornier. Oh, yeah. You just want to lay there and just, yeah. Oh, just You don't want to leave the bed. Oh, yeah. my God. I just don't need a leave fucking the stick to kill people okay well that, that, my, <laughs> my physiological interpretation of those hormones is, is totally fuck. different is the maybe flip side um but so i'm also like 33 at two no 31 two somewhere in there at this early point. 30s okay 33 yeah so and, yeah. and it's like it's just it's flowing i don't know what it was anyway so i went to the bathroom boy ex-boyfriend walks out the door we're still living here and, and i just went for it and then I suddenly realized that something went wrong. 
and it was all the way up in there and it turned left and and uh, uh, maybe my insides are like you know they're just fucked at this yeah. point it's just fucked yeah anyway so then i went to the kitchen i was in the bathtub at the time and i was covered in lube covered <laughs> in lube because i'm rolling around trying to get it out then i go to the kitchen and i got a spatula I went back to the washroom because i didn't want to make the kitchen too gross and i'm trying to like <laughs> wrench it out of me and it wasn't coming, and I just realized this was not going to work. It's not going to work. So I called the <clears> ex-boyfriend. <throat> he was at work. He came. He, he picked up the phone, and I was like, something's wrong. <laughs> and he was like, are you going to be okay? I said, no, I'm dying. Come home now. And so he came home. This was after you broken up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were yeah. still living in the same were house. Were you on bad terms? or like what was? No, Tristan's a great guy. Okay, so it wasn't like a, a bad Hi, breakup. Tristan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a super guy he really is he is he, he immediately came home shit and uh by the time he got there uh, all i could manage was he said like get your stuff ready and and we'll go to the hospital i was bent over 90 degrees on the bed um it was a higher bed yeah. he walked in the door and i i looked over at him like <laughs> <laughs> and he looked at me like are you, you going to be able to get in the car and we need to call an ambulance? And I said, go the fucking ambulance! Yeah. And he started to hyperventilate. Yeah. And then the ambulance came. They picked me up. They were like, oh, not another one. <laughs> and they took me to the hospital and they were like, uh, 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 uh you're going to have to wait in the ambulance bay. It was February. It was fucking freezing. Fuck, yeah, fucking freezing in and Nova Scotia. And they were Scotia. yelling at me about screaming, which was the weirdest thing, because I'm like, I'm in the worst possible pain you can imagine. How do you expect me too? not to scream? Yeah. Fuck you too. It's like a woman in labor. How do yeah. you tell a woman in labor, like, stop screaming? I will rip your fucking eyeballs out. Stop yelling. I'm, why didn't I get an epidural? <laughs> this is wrong. Because <laughs> frankly, I was about to give birth. Hopefully. <laughs> no C-section, please. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. You don't want no, those no. scars. You don't want those scars. No. I know. I don't want my stomach to be smiling back up at me. Yeah. And all I have to show for it is a PVC penis-shaped piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so that was a big... And folks, we <laughs> have known each other for a total of four hours. That's right here. Those two. And me and her. Yeah. And we, we talk, and her. We talk on different social medias because you're not on Facebook. No. Motherfucker. Right. That's right. Motherfucker, you're not. Why? He's too so cool. done with Facebook. Uh, not that so it's a, done. I just. Okay, well, we need to talk, start a text group chat then because I'm like, I like, I talk to you on Instagram. I talk to you on Facebook. I know. And I, Why doesn't Instagram do a group message? That's that? the next thing. Fuck, my phone's over there! <laughs> <laughs> shit. Honestly, who owns this? Yeah. Is it Jeff Bezos? Is that? Oh, who that's gives a, a name. shit anymore? Anyway, so then <laughs> I finally get in. And I, like, listen, I have experienced both uh, not methamphetamine. What is it? Not methadone. Not Meth? uh, morphine. <laughs> morphine. Morphine and fentanyl. Yeah. Morphine is beautiful for 10 minutes when you have a giant dildo stuck in your ass no fentanyl is bullshit. <laughs> okay all right for those of us who are allergic to morphine i want to fucking die when i get it oh never insert anything too big then noted too late <laughs> <laughs> it's still in there i didn't tell it's you that six are you reading my fucking diary now that, man maybe that's why i'm scared of sex toys because i'm actually scared of like going through an experience like that I mean, it can happen. I yeah, but that was like that was extreme. It was extreme. It was so extreme. It was because I got up in there. Yeah, it was up in there. Yeah, but it was. What's the recovery like from that? So okay, so they took it out. It's like obviously. a couple of months of bleeding. Did it take long to take out? Um. Okay, so here's the funny part. <laughs> now we get to the funny part. Everybody, it's hilarious. For this. Okay, so. So they finally put me in a room after I don't even know how many hours it was. And I'm in a room and I'm wailing and some nurse comes in and says, can you fucking keep it down? <laughs> Bitch! And I'm like, Please! My Please. taxes are paying your salary. You want me to keep it down? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, 
anyway, God. so <clears throat> then that went on for a bit. Then all of a sudden, everything was happening. And this nurse practitioner came in and a doctor and a whole bunch of interns. <laughs> they, it's like a whole team. Yeah. Residents. Res- yeah. Came yeah. In and they all had clipboards. And I said to myself in my head, there are iPhones behind those clipboards yep. because I'm about to go out. But I've been told that doesn't happen. So I believe. Go out like... Like, I'm about to be put out. I right thought you meant die. <clears throat> no, and no, my no. mind went to a dark... <laughs> whoa. A dark place. Sarah, are you okay? I think about death a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do I, but that's Talk fair. Talk to for another time. <laughs> so they say, okay, we're going to do this. If there's a procedure for it. It's perfectly normal. And this happens all the time. And I'm like... <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, the, the nurse practitioner is, is administering my conscious sedation, which means I'll, quote be awake but quote won't remember so i that i, I don't You're know where the line real is fucked up. yeah so real i don't remember it. it but all i remember is the last thing i said to him was i hope it's a boy because <laughs> i was crying and laughing and that in a nutshell is vernon thank you yeah and then when him. i woke up then when i woke up there was an older gay nurse kind of milling around the room and I, 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 I don't know what's going on and he said he picked up the thing that had been extracted from me and said <laughs> do you want this back and I said I never want to see him again and that was it and that was and, it and you never saw him again I never saw him do you guys him again. name your sex toys no no no. Yeah, who would do that? They don't deserve it. <laughs> oh. All right, Sarah. No, 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 no. No one does that. No? It used to be Victor, but now I think it's Veronica. Oh, that's a Ooh. lot of V names. All hey, right. My She's a girl name. now, I think. Ooh, interesting. My, my vibrator went through a sex change. That's hey, awesome. Your vibrator's good. trans. <laughs> that's amazing. Transbrator. I, tra- <laughs> I, it, that. I just feel like she's a woman. She's purple. Yeah. She's slick. Is it because she understands She knows what to you? do. If she was like a person, she would be like a hot brunette in a purple dress. Oh my God. Gorgeous. <laughs> so basically a mirror image of yourself. Yes. Yeah. There yeah, you so go. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very subtle with my dings tonight. Yeah. No, we haven't quite gotten there yet. No, we're in a way though. <laughs> no. Feel it. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's going to be so, a long fucking podcast. So, Okay. <laughs> Sex toy mishaps. Yeah. So going back to your dynamic mm-hmm. and friendship, Aaron, why? I love you. What I want to know is why does this work so well? That's a really I don't good question. This right here. No, man. Like <laughs> I, I am like so, like I am scheduled. I am detail oriented. I you still don't have a haircut appointment. And. Whose fucking fault is that? Yeah, she's mad at me. Yeah, I am mad at you. I know. And I'm not bringing it up. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> you still need to fucking cut my hair. I will make it work. Yeah. I'm earnest. <laughs> well, Actually, what needs to happen is she needs to be my personal, um, like, not personal assistant. You need to be, oh, you, oh, no, the other way around. You need to be my president. P- prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. You just need to what? be higher than me and like tell me what to do, and I'll just go and I've do it. I've been telling you what to do. Get but me like, a fucking hair appointment. But there needs to be like one under you that makes what your commandments happen, Is that and me? then I'll be your slave. Can I do it? Oh, oh sweet. It's totally. Yeah, oh, yeah. New yeah. throuple. New throuple. <laughs> Woo! Thermal power and in. In. <laughs> boom! Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I honestly have no fucking clue how this works so well because, well, personality types. So let's break down both of your personality types. <laughs> yeah. But what I want to know is, like, do you guys complement each other, or are you, do you have more stuff in common? I would say like, better than a lot of combinations. We're a, each one of us is like a weird amalgam of different things yeah it's just like interesting and comfortable the way that we work together although there's still tension oh there's all like we hate most people individual on our own yes (laughs) i love it yeah people hey i not hate that's not right it's just i hate so does it take a lot to like like she's more make you like somebody maybe oh god yeah like specific things need to be yeah which is why i respect our friendship so much because i know that that's difficult for her Ah. I'm super. I am super fucking picky <laughs> about who is like in the circle. In the circle, I am a homebody completely. Yeah. Um. 
like, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, ha- I have my house. It's comfortable. This is where we are right now. So right. I'm, like, super happy. I love your house, too. <clears throat> this is I, very awesome. Of course. And that's why I come to people sometimes. Because I feel like I could invite people over. But, like, people are just so much more yeah. themselves in their own environment. And where you're the extrovert, you're... You know, you're a bit more comfortable in all settings. Yep. Yeah. Chameleon. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, you know, if we were at a party, I would just totally be in that corner with like a drink and I'd be like. But it's weird because I feel like I'm the, I actually do have some social anxiety. Yeah. I need a partner in crime. Like yeah. if, if, if I go into a party with a somebody, mm-hmm. one other person. Yeah. Just give me one other person. I will be great. Yeah. But if I go in alone. Oh, that's yeah, scary. I'll, I'll be in that corner too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it can be terrifying sometimes. And I wasn't always like that. Yeah. But I think like, I think from 25 onwards, I like just got all the anxiety. Yep. It was just like. <sighs> you guys in a previous podcast were talking about going to the liquor dome. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Do you remember that? God. The dome. The dome. And Sponsor kind of- us. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some free cover. And I just like, it just put me back in mind oh of God, like I when know. I first got to the city and like I was being exposed to all of those things. Yeah. And like I, I at the time, it just wasn't part of where the art kids were going, which was what I was. I went to NASCAD and we went to Charlie's. Oh, because you know the North End Bar, right? Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like $2 drinks and mm. then you didn't have to be pretty. You definitely did not have to be pretty. But Dome was like, you need to be in... Fucking tube top. Like fuck you, the dome. Your <laughs> platforms on your stilettos needed to be two inches or you didn't get in. Um, and I just couldn't play that game. But I like it, later on, it's, it's softened, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 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 So what were we talking about? No idea. Well, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like. What personality, were you about oh, before? personality types. Yeah. Personality types. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I just, in terms of us, because you are just so fucking outgoing, and I am, like, leave me at the back, I am happier by myself, right. and that's... You're great when you come out, bitch. <laughs> that's the thing. You're great when you come out, bitch. <laughs> but not everybody earns that. You have to earn that with me. That's the thing. Like, yeah. I have... A- you- Come out of your shell, maybe, or like totally. You, like you, you need comfort level. It's a comfort level thing, probably. Yeah, and yeah. if I'm not feeling that from somebody right away, then I'm probably not gonna feel that. Interesting. Yeah, no, I get it though. You know, because sometimes there's. Well, I mean, it depends on the. Fr- I have some friends who definitely hated me when they first met me, <laughs> and like warmed up to that. me. I but then so. I. No. But I feel like there's certain personality types that you, it's like you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Yeah. And you're going to know right away. Like, yeah. Do you ever meet someone where you're just like, I just don't know and I don't know when I'll know. Yeah. Like like you meet someone and you're just like, I just don't yeah. know how I feel about them. Yeah. I find that like, most pronounced when it's coworkers. Yeah. I've met coworkers. They come in and it's like, oh, I love you right away. Mm-hmm. And then things go south unexpectedly. And I'm like, but but why? We seem to have such a good thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then other times I'll meet a, co- a new coworker and be like, I don't know if I like you. Yeah. I and really hope for the best. And sometimes you don't know and you need to have a moment with them alone or like a talk mm-hmm. yeah. or something that's going to skew you in special. one way or, or another. Yeah. yeah. And, like, I had an old roommate, Emily, that, like, when we met, we really didn't hit it off right mm-hmm. away. And we, like, it was, like, a growing thing. And then once we got to that point, we were really good friends. Yeah. That's but so it, interesting. It was not a, an immediate, like, no, I'm into this person. I mean, they're living together. It was a great living together situation. Yeah. Because she was very much my opposite. But it was good because we complimented each other. Yeah. But, like, I'm not going <laughs> to... I feel an inquired taste to a lot of people. Unless you're the right personality type, which will like me right away. Like, like you guys. Hey. But, like, sometimes I can be an inquired taste. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. that. That's fine. That, I'm okay with that. You're so unique, and I just I fucking loved you. Aww, like, right you. away. I'm like, yeah. you're just, like, 100% you. Yeah. And I love that when people are fully themselves. It, yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't always the case. In fact, I started the podcast because somebody told me, you like the sound of your own voice. And I oh! said, oh, and I said, you, man. I said, wait, I do. Yeah. So, <laughs> and what's wrong other with people that? people might too. Yeah. 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 Mm. So like, it's an attitude shift. I yeah. feel like you reach a point in your life. Like for me, it was definitely like late twenties. Yeah. Where I was like, I can either get upset about this. Mm. 
Or I can just say, fuck it, and do it. You hit fuck it. And I said, fuck it. Yeah. Well done. And see, yeah. the thing with when Vern and I met, it was the whole, I have been the insecure person all my fucking life. Bullied relentlessly about mm. my weight and everything. And then it was like, all of a sudden I'm working in this fucking high-end spa. And I had been working in a spa before that. Um, and it was great, but I needed a change after I had my son. And all of a sudden I went into this place and I was like, okay, I am super confident in how I work and what I do. And I know that I do it really good. And then, and then I'm like, oh my God, this guy wants to be friends with me. How do I do this? <gasps> oh, I, it's just, it's so intimidating. And it I was like, it was that first date where he was like, well, no, totally. It's my day off. It's your day off. Why don't you come in? I'll do your hair. And then we can go grab lunch. And I'm like, uh. You're like, for you, like, this person wants to hang out with me? I'm like, what? What is, but, but it's me. Like, there's yeah. nothing that I offer. That is so funny to me because Aww. that you remember that period that, that that was really easy for me to do. I obviously don't remember it at all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what I remember was difficult was incorporating myself into your family. Yeah. Because you're a family person. Mm -hmm. and there were several moments where that was challenging. Yeah. Um, for me, like, just to approach. Ah. So, but the moment where things turned for me was 2012 okay. New Year's Eve. Oh, it, the New Year's Eve. I don't, I don't know the story yet. I went, the oh. New Year's Yeah. Okay. Well, New Year's Eve is, I feel like New Year's Eve is one of those days that people are thinking about their life. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, if you meet someone on New Year's Eve, because I met Jesse, uh, Sandra's husband, mm -hmm. on New Year's Eve. Yeah. We ended up being lifelong friends. Yeah. Because I feel like when you meet on a night like that. Yeah. Or if like, or if you have a moment where something happens, like that's a, it's a, it's a night. Yeah. Let's hear it. What yeah. What happened on New Year's Eve? So it was the whole, we'd kind of been like, we'd already had like our first friendship date and we ended up going to Boneheads for lunch. That yes! Yeah, yes! I remember that, I remember that. Yeah! Yeah! Boneheads! And <laughs> sponsor us! And it <laughs> I just ask everyone to sponsor us. I yeah. love Boneheads food, because yeah. you know why. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, and it was like, okay, if this was a first date, you're not supposed to get pasta, you're not supposed to get seafood, you're not supposed to get barbecue. I mean, I, I wouldn't even <laughs> eat off. Well, I guess this is a friendship date, this is a bit different. I wouldn't. Eat I was still fucking terrified, though. <laughs> yeah, I'd only drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah. So we went to uh, we went to Boneheads for our first friendship date, but then it was like we were constantly kind of talking. I think the red dye incident had already happened oh, yeah. at <laughs> at the house. Yeah, my my ex boyfriend's house. We decided to dye our hair at my house, mm -hmm. and. He had just redone the floor in the <laughs> kitchen, and and it looked like someone purated all, all over. The there's place. a picture of it. Yeah, it, he dropped the bowl of color. Yeah, everywhere. I dropped it not in one spot, but everywhere. Yeah, and then we staged. Damn. Then we staged a murder scene, which was awesome. That's amazing. It was, it was great. I think that was a major bonding moment. It totally oh was God, because I was like. Oh Let's my use God. this tragedy to our advantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, but then, yeah, we were kind of like talking around, okay, why don't you come to our house? And I'm such a homebody. I'm always more comfortable at here, obviously. So true. Yeah. And because um, home is where the bra isn't. Ha! Ding, ding. Thank you. That's I'm about to take my supportive underwear off. <laughs> That was probably loud. Bras do me well, but they are uncomfortable as shit. Yeah. Anyways, um, so so we were like, Vernon, I think you would ask, what do you guys do for New Year's Eve? And I'm like, we get a bunch of fucking food and, and did. we watch whatever movies we want to watch. That's amazing. We, and that's it. That sounds like the best. It yeah. is the best. And, and Next New Year's Eve. Can I please do that? Because I always, yeah. I always try to go the other way where it's like, no. I'm going to get dressed no. up and I'm going to go out and drink no. and a boy's going to kiss me at midnight and life is just going to be like the OC. No. no. And no um, you come movie. here. It never fucking happens. Yeah. No. You come here and we have booze and we have lots of food and. The food is the key. Yeah. We did crab's legs. 
giant bowl of shrimp. A with giant a bowl trough. of trough. And I yes. just remember you like pulling up to it like like a car in a car wash and yep. you're just like it just like rolled down this the is window it, and baby. You just piled <laughs> shrimp in your face. I am all about the seafood. It was awesome. And yeah, and you I think did you buy card? Yeah, you bought Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, yeah. Cards Against Humanity, I think, is the real. Igniter. Oh God! Is this a bonding moment? The this. Cards oh my humanity. God! These are the fill in the blank cards. So these all tell a story. Each one of these is some kind of a what? Yeah. In depth look into <clears throat> our friends. So can we do this somehow yeah. with these? Yeah. What should I do? It, Just read but, a random one. What's the story behind these? Okay, pull one. And, okay. and we'll tell you the story. So, okay, Cards Against Humanity, when you get the bigger boxes, you get blank cards. So you can fill in your own subject or answer on the white and black cards. Right. It assumes that during gameplay, you're going to come up with something of your own yeah. so that you can... So if you don't fucking know what Cards Against Humanity is, you get need... Get the fuck out! Get Shut up! The... No, don't leave. No, <laughs> come back! No. Please? <laughs> Please? Okay. It's the tagline is a card game for horrible people. And that's appropriate for intoxicated because yeah. I was telling everybody I was telling these guys on the drive over that I'm just waiting to offend somebody. I feel like on my episodes I'm just like yee <laughs> And every episode that I post I'm like is today the week? Is it? it? Is today the week that yeah. I'm going to offend someone? Yeah. So, yeah. We, we on the same page. Yeah. So, that's the rule. So, when we first started Cards Against Humanity, Vernon introduced it to us. And that's the whole idea. You are not allowed to get... Offended. Offended. It's okay. it's a fucking game. Yeah. And if you can learn something about the people that you're playing with, then you become a whole lot closer. So... Like, tonight we learned a lot of things about each other. Yeah, like, that you need to get more sex toys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, queen. <laughs> if you want to pay for my sex toys, you can donate to our Patreon hey, page. There it's patreon.com <laughs> backslash intoxicated. Anyways. I prefer water bottles. Water bottles as sex toys? Why not? I mean, like I'm Athena. a girl on a budget, so I'm willing to hear you out about this. I, know. So. I mean, like, project section. You know I've what I'm never- saying? Well, yeah, I can imagine that it would mm. work the mm. same way. Oh, you just need to invest man. in a halfway decent shower head. Ooh, I've heard about that. No, really? Honestly, yeah. I've heard about the shower head thing as yes. for, for girls. Yeah, for sure. Totally. That concludes part one of my episode with Aaron and Vernon. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Please do make sure to check out part two, which is essentially us going over the Cards Against Humanity cards. Uh, It's a great one. Lots of really good conversations come out of that one. So I hope you do check out part two. And thanks so much for listening.